Hi, I'm Chef Justin with the Cafe at the Palisades Tennis Club at Book Dessert and Mass Catering. I'm going to take you on a little journey inside of one of my favorite shops here in Laguna, the Spice Merchant, located on PCH right next to the Sandpiper. Hi, I want to show you some of my favorite items that they have here at the Spice Merchant that I use in a lot of the dishes that um, we'll be kind of showing you that we make this week. Um, they have all these great selections of different sea salts and everything. One of my favorites is the Chardonnay oak smoked sea salt. So they smoke the sea salt over Chardonnay oak barrels. It's really phenomenal, great finish. A lot of different salads, um, cheese dishes, some fishes, some of the poultry things. It's the perfect little like extra oomph to give you on your dishes. Um, one of the other big ones that we'll be using is um, when I make the red roasted potatoes. We'll be using this one, the Laguna Beach Egg and Potato Blend. And it has um, coriander seeds, um, parsley, tarragon, dried onion, savory seasoning, some dried parsley. So it's a really great complement for the eggs. We'll also be working a lot with the Herbes de Provence. And we'll be telling you a little bit about some of my experiences traveling in the south of France on the Côte d'Azur and Antibes. Um, so yeah, the uh, herbs and uh, herbs de Provence. Then we also have that we'll be using with when I make the uh, clam chowder is uh, uh, peppered rosemary. The egg and potato blend I showed you too, we'll be using that also for our corn chowder that we make. It's some of the similar ingredients that we use in the roasted red potatoes. A lot of times what I do is I take the leftover breakfast potatoes I have from brunch and I'll incorporate to make the corn chowder soup. It's really great. And then around on the other side here, We have a lot of great fresh uh, olive oils and balsamics. The apple balsamic is one of my favorites that I use a lot for salad dressings, as well as if I'm trying to be a little bit more healthier, doing like a kale salad and tuna, whatnot, I'll just drizzle a little bit of this on top. And some of the Chinese five spice, it's excellent. Um, over here, another popular item that he's working on re-blending right now is the raspberry chipotle blend. I love this on salmon. Just a little bit of oil on this and broil your salmon. Um, just comes out perfect. Also on Brussels sprouts is another awesome item. Uh, one other thing that we're picking up right now is a hunter's game that I'll be using when I make the bison burgers and that has dried juniper berries in it. Really excited to share that one with you, but um, stay tuned for the rest of the recipes and how we blend all these spices together. All right, so this morning I whipped up a batch of the Plant Paradox. Um, by Stephen Gundry, his everything bagel. So it's gluten-free, almond flour, um, tapioca starch, a uh, little bit of salt, baking powder, uh, some hot water, and uh, two tablespoons of vinegar. And it turned out amazing. And I also used right here, the everything um, Brooklyn bagel seasoning on top of it. So you'll see this, this will be one of the uh, platters we'll be featuring for um, our Easter brunches that we'll have available for everybody through the cafe in Newport.